you guys this brand 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 this brand hey hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on to this video if you are new hi my name is shiko and thank you so much for joining me subscribe to my channel to be notified when i upload my next video so on this video we are going to be reviewing some amazing foundations that i have over here they are the kavirondo luala foundations kavirondo is an african makeup brand they have foundations and they also have lipstick they have a really quality products and they are affordable so if you want to see how i achieved this look using their foundation and their lipstick keep on watching when Kavirondo Makeup sent me these foundations, I was so excited because I was like a Kenyan brand with foundations. That is so amazing. And when I tried them, I was mind blown. And I remember like the next day I went to do makeup for a certain video shoot and they really loved these foundations. So the foundations come in seven different shades. I hope that they're going to increase the range in future. But let me quickly read for you guys the description. It says, in a city called Bondo, the rich fertile soil is referred to as Luala. So this foundation is called Kavirondo Luala. So they've named it after the rich fertile soils of Bondo. How amazing is that? Like when you're using this foundation, you just feel like a total African. <laughs> so um, enjoy the rich, radiant, matte, full coverage liquid foundation Luala infused with alloy oil free and has no parabens celebrating true african heroines with our seven shades in honor of nyazi nziga nandi madai cleo ya and aminatu so those are the seven shades of the foundations i didn't want to do this review before completely um getting familiar with the foundation so i've been using it for very like three weeks yeah, and I love it. It performs really well. I can compare it to the Maybelline Superstay. It is that good. So let's just go straight into testing. So you guys can see how cute the packaging is. This is how the foundation looks like inside. We also have the shade name over here. So they come with a pump where you pump out the foundation which is really nice. I use the shade Mnyazi and I'm going to swatch it here and here and then next to that shade, I'm going to put the other shades so that you guys can be able to see the different shades. So if you want to buy, you can be able to tell which one to buy. So that's Mnyazi. So next I'll put the shade Nziga over there. They are basically almost the same, but I use Nyazi because it's golden and I have a warm undertone. The next shade is called Aminato. It's lighter than these two. And I'll put that over here. And the next one is Cleo. It's the lightest shade. I'm going to put it here. That's Cleo, so it's the lightest shade in the collection. So they have two dark foundations, Mathai, this is Mathai, and this is Ya. So Ya has more of a red undertone, and Mathai looks like this. It's not, it's more of the neutral side. This is Mathai. It is that dark. This is, yeah. So those are the shades that they have. And as you guys can see, this Nyazi one is the one closest. Or it's basically almost my shade. Yeah, as you can see. So I'm going to wipe my face and then I can apply Nyazi to use my foundation brush to apply the foundation. I forgot to prime. So I'll first prime my face. I'm using a brush to apply the foundation. 
I'll first apply it on one side so you guys can see the difference of the amount of coverage it has. So far you can see I've only tapped into the foundation once and you can see how much coverage I'm getting. And also what I love about this foundation is the fact that it's matte but at the same time it gives you a glow so it doesn't leave you looking like your skin is dehydrated or anything like that it is so nice so i'll use whatever is left on the brush for the top part so you guys can see how much only one dab of the foundation and huh, i have this much coverage this is amazing So I'll use my beauty blender to blend out the edges. Can you guys see how much we are glowing? But I also think the glow is because of the illuminator, the illuminizing primer and I live for that skin oh my gosh so beautiful so you can see the difference it's really nice so one more dab into the product for this other side the jawline and whatever is left for the top part to highlight my face I'm going to use the shade Aminatu so I'm not using too much And to contour, I'll use the shade Madai. I'll mix Madai with Ya a bit. And since these are really dark shades, I'm going to use a very little amount. So I'm going to blend the contour using this brush. You can see how beautifully that blends. So this brush is really doing a good job in blending the foundation but then the foundation also is like so easy to blend so so easy do you guys can you imagine i had laid my edges before this they are just so ungrateful i won't even tire myself again so for my nose contour i'm going to use a more precise brush Can you see this is amazing this is amazing not even kidding you you don't see this in a, with a lot of foundations 
so to blend the highlight i'm using this brush that i had used for foundation I'll then take this brush for my under eyes. This is so easy, like, can you guys see how I'm not even struggling to blend this thing? Wow. So can you see how my my contour is not harsh it is well blended because you don't want to have a black line just want seamless application and you can I can go back with the brush I used to contour to kind of define the contour a bit because I had lost it Bring it back a bit. And then use J Cut Banana Powder to set. And I'm not baking I'm just applying the powder to the areas where I had placed that lighter foundation to set that highlight I'm gently swiping that over my brows because they are a bit oily And to set the contour, I'm going to use a legal powder in the shade Coco. I'll then take this brush to swipe off that setting powder that is remaining. I'm then going to use the shade Toffee of Maybelline Fit Me all over my face. Bronze, I'm going to use Suzy Beauty blush. For blush.
blush I'm going to use this shade over here Next, I'm going to highlight. So, to spray my face, I'm going to use this NYX matte finish. Amazing, amazing. We are popping, guys. Yeah, popping. I'll use this Cavirondo lipstick. It's a purple shade. Can you guys see how beautiful this lipstick is? Like. You don't even have to go on top of it with another coat, it's full coverage. And then it's, you see, it is so smooth. Duke, my favorite shade of this lipstick um, was called Duke. It got finished, I'm still to get another one. Uh, it was a pink nude that was so pretty. you guys see it's already dry like it doesn't stick <sighs> you guys this brand 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 this brand hey Cavirondo has has done it they have killed it they have really invested in quality products like can you just see Such a beautiful lipstick. Look at the foundation. Look at my face. We are just popping. We are popping. So I'm going to go on top of it with a gloss. I think it looked better without the gloss, but you know what? All is well. All is well. And this is our final look. I am loving this look so much. I love the lipstick. I love how the foundation has really blended into my skin. I've used this foundation quite a number of times and it does last it does last for a very long time without needing touch up. Yeah, so I would recommend for you guys to get this foundation. Um the cons is that the range is not so wide. So like if you're Two shades darker than me there's no shade for you you'll have to mix up the shades because like after my shade there's only one and then we have the two darkest ones um but it's really nice if you're around my shade or lighter or really darker you have your shade as you you saw through the, sh the swatches as you saw through the swatches but I love the fact that this is a Kenyan brand that has produced such amazing products from the lipstick to the foundation and I can't wait for them to produce more products because they give us quality. So I'm going also to leave a discount code down below. The foundation goes for 2000 bob but if you get it through my code you get it at 1800 which includes delivery fee which is really affordable for this kind of quality. So yeah you guys can go ahead and buy and if you're buying a nude lipstick from them buy the shade called Duke. If you need a nude if you need a good nude lipstick with a pink undertone that still looks good on african skin kindly guys go buy their lipstick shade called duke it is so amazing it is so bomb i'm also going to buy it because mine ran out yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys on the next one bye